October earthquake disasters and massive floods continue to strike. We just evacuated our hotel. It's like one o'clock in the morning. It's crazy. It's like every couple of days an earthquake now. Oh my God. But something strange is happening beneath the earth that no one is noticing. This lake started bubbling strangely after the two earthquakes hit in Philippines. What? We'll get back to what's happening there, but there's another scenario that is also happening as floods hit this area. After this flood, strangely, a muddy hot spring erupted in Tanin, Taiwan. Just as all these flood disasters and earthquake disasters come out, the West Coast is being warned that a Cascadia earthquake could create an emergency situation. And in this emergency situation, we want to do something very specific to people on the West Coast. And we'll get to that. But first, so where this new rupture opened on the Cascadia subduction zone, right next to Vancouver Island in between Washington, there was bubbling happening there. This is going to transfer stress along that system of Cascadia and cause a double quake situation. And whatever happens in the Philippines, tell us kind of what's coming down the line. Because now we are in a domino disaster effect, Philippines, Taiwan, and now this strange bubbling gives us hints of what is really going on with the earth bleeding water below. As this new shocking evidence emerges, you can see this big, huge bubbling starts to slowly erupt up. It's getting bigger as we look at it. Some people believe this is potentially a creature strangely underneath the water. But if we look into the scenario, what could this possibly be? It could be gas released from sediments. The quakes could have disturbed riverbeds. It also could have been liquefaction because of the seismic shaking that's happened over the last week. Or it could be that the quake may have opened fractures, changing the hydraulic gradients, causing sudden increased upflow of groundwater. And what's more concerning, telling us that more stress is gonna transfer, two days after that, tall volcano, which hasn't erupted in five years, just today did this. This tells us that a major magma shift is happening and is going to progress all the way up to the West Coast. This is the first warning sign. But what I found next is some of the most strange and disturbing warning signs that you're gonna hear. It started with a few eyewitness clips of birds evacuating because they knew earthquakes were coming from the West Coast, to the Philippines. Now, some major evidence has come out that birds around the world are now sharing a new evolved warning call. <laughs> Scientists say they're doing this warning cry because of a parasite. But what if it's because the entire earth shift has happened and they have to shift with it, the magnetic field change, the massive floods from Arizona, to Colorado areas, all the different situations right now that we're facing. On top of that, the pattern of deers has been observed by behavioral scientists that watch animals and they found out that they're not sleeping 
at the same time period, these are unusual patterns showing a huge warning sign to everybody. And that's why you need to just stop right now and hit that subscribe button because what I'm about to reveal next, you have to be here for later to find out where it leads to. All right, so just listen really closely to this. Nobody even talking about it. Remember how I said they're gonna do something to people on the West Coast because of this earthquake disaster? So you, you know how people are in these high rise buildings. So if we look right here in this file what Jeff Merkley put in for disaster funding of the Cascadia subduction zone, they talk about vertical evacuations in these, these shelters, you know? But here's what makes things a little bit weird. None of their drills, they are doing vertical evacuation in. Specifically recently, they couldn't even bring the military into the drills at large because it's supposedly a shutdown. Now the government shutdown is forcing changes to San Francisco's fleet. Lead. Since 2011, the event has included a large scale earthquake drill, bringing together military and local agencies to test disaster response. But this year, federal and military support is limited. We're at Piers 3032, where multiple agencies and private partners are collaborating to prepare for a catastrophic event. Today's scenario is an earthquake, but this annual drill is looking a little different this year because of the government shutdown. You want to vertically evacuate people in the earthquake, but it could be land substance. We're talking it could go down or, you know, you can have a tsunami and they're like, oh, well, that's going to help you if you're a higher ground. And yeah, in that scenario. But if the big one hit, how is it vertically going up going to help you? Which led me to the final disaster equation. But before we get to that, in this drill that they recently did, when they had to withdraw military forces, they had to do something specific. The Department of Emergency Management, Fire, Police, and several other agencies joined state and private partners like AT&T and PG&E. The drill is part of Fleet Week and simulates the kind of coordination that would be needed if a 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit. In the Bulgaria 2025 crisis management exercise, what they did was they worked with international military forces globally with NATO. This means a global military team will be in this crisis management. And this is confirmed. So you could have multinational military showing up to the West Coast to the East Coast, to New Madrid Fault, wherever this hits at, that is what they plan out. And you're like, well, you know, I don't really see that happening or something. And then some of you like, you know what? I don't even put it past them. But for the ones who say, I don't see it happening, it's definitely going to happen because they have pre-planned this and prepared this. But that's why we're going to be getting you all the information of watching the movements, tracking every little aspect of it through people telling us what they're seeing on the ground when the disaster strikes and before the disaster strikes we're going to be here giving you what nobody else is on the internet but hold up though hold up the final disaster plan they're about to build on the west coast on oregon senator jeff merkley has put in for them to be constructed along the coastline areas and when this is constructed, California hasn't said a word. I believe California will follow suit. Washington will follow as well. Check this out. There's never been a public drill for vertical evacuations. What does that mean? Officials behind closed doors quietly may have had these drills without your knowledge. Why would they do that? Because something is necessary for you to not be aware of. And you can do a search right after this video is over and go look up vertical uh, military evacuation drills. You'll see no information on that. And that tells me right there, it just, the military is not building it. So that tells you F-E-M. You know what the last word ends with is building it.
And that's why we're doing this video for awareness. So once this happens and the land could sink, you know, and sure, yeah, oh, yeah, it's great when the tsunami is coming and you're like, oh, my God, the water, I don't want to get swallowed. Yeah, it's a great thing. But then the first floor can't be evacuated unless the people on that floor has the protocol to evacuate you. So at that point, what could happen? You answer the question there. Because this is right here is going to be very important that we tell people about this because I've studied all the drills for the last 10 years and I know exactly what is happening here in front of huge pieces to the puzzle. Hit subscribe. But wait, they're trying to hide this from you. And if you miss it, this is going to critically cripple survival. Go watch it now.